guys, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a combat system. And I already made a combat system tutorial, but that was a while ago. So this is just an updated version. So let's just get into it. So what you want to do is, um, well, for, for, okay, for now, I'm going I'm to just do um, not the tool version. That makes sense. Uh, late, later, I'll do the tool version. Okay. So what we want to do is, wait, first, let's... Okay, you guys want to add your your a folder in replicated storage and call it Anims, and then hate like I'm gonna have a five hit combo, so I'm gonna do five animations here. So one, two, three, four, five. If you want to do like a four hit combo, just just do four, yeah. And then you want to name this um. I don't know, combat one, combat two. And I'm not gonna have the animations this um this tutorial, but you guys wanna paste them in there. Oh, what's that combat 45? Alright. But you guys wanna paste it in there, so combat oh, okay. So now we have your animation. So this you oh yeah, put a local script in here, starter pack. And you can name it like combat. Um, yeah, just combat handler, I don't know, whatever you want. And then, you wanna go in here, so... If you were to do a tool, you would like... A parent, oh, yeah. But, we're gonna do this one, so. Uh, okay, re let's get replicated storage. And then, because we need it for the items, um... Okay, we'll make yeah yeah yeah. That's what we'll do. We'll do um bat anims. Okay, we're gonna wanna do. Okay, wait. Let's do local anims folders equal to replicated storage. Wait for child. In. Okay. The anims folder dot combat one. You wanna put this in order, so you guys can just do this too. First animation if you want just to know but you did already make and then anims folder uh, combat two. oh yeah put the um uh and then just keep going this okay. all right last one okay so we have that now now we wanna um Hmm. Let's do uh hmm. okay yeah we're gonna do this combo one that's it for the zero and we're gonna have a cooldown uh yeah um now we uh, okay we're gonna have oh I forgot to get. And then, all right. Sorry for that crap. But, uh, now you want to do UIS. Um, input begin connect. And then, I'm gonna want to input here. And then, hmm. So, okay, yeah. Let's do. Then we could do um if is typing then return n and then if input dot user input type because we're gonna be clicking and then mouse button one because we're gonna be clicking and we could add a m2 plus one two oh yeah this is gonna be air combo I forgot to mention but we're not gonna do that in this um. Mm. And then we're gonna do a stun. So, and I never got player. Is that the player? Uh, local characters. So, we're gonna do player.characters and then say or player.character 
add it. Oops, add it. And then wait. This thing just still loads for sure. And then we're gonna do character. Find first child. Stun. Yeah, this is gonna be in the next episode, could we? Pretty sure. I think we can just set that to like nothing. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's good. Um, now we want to do this. Um, let's see. Oh my God, sorry. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Also, sorry if you hear like an air, air conditioner in the background. But we're gonna do if, if and then ask it what one. one we're gonna we're gonna reset the combo back to one, and then uh, we're gonna do test it. Oh, okay, the current time. Okay, and then we have to put. Oh wait, sorry. Oh wait. Uh, yeah, no, it's good. It's and then we could do the animations now, so... Hmm. Hmm. Let's do local load equal to local load anim. Probably not gonna work for me since I have no animation. Because I don't have them in. But, um... Let's do... Make the child humanoid. Um, load animation. First pin. Right. You're gonna want to do this. Okay. That. that should work. And then just do. should work. Let me know if that doesn't work in the Discord. Put the Discord in the comments down below. But if we test this out. Oh. Oh. Why it took so long, but um Okay. Uh, uh yeah, okay. Yeah that's because our okay. Yeah no that doesn't work. You know what? Put a put an animation in here, and then do Rip that animation. Rip the child animation. We're gonna do the animation ID is equal to the combat combat anims. And then we'll do script child animation. Yeah. Put that forward. Unable to spin. Okay. Okay, um. I, I wanna fill this up, so. Let's just get a random animation. I just wanna. Okay. Um, okay. I don't... Let's just do, um, a sword animation. I don't... We'll just do the same one for all of them. Do this shit. Okay. Okay. So okay. oh, this... I don't think this is gonna work, but... Okay, unable... Okay. Instead of this, do... Okay. I should just do this then. I'm gonna paste that there. 
So just like this. So you don't, you're not gonna need that full bit. You might just, so just go like this for now. I think now it should work. But yeah. Uh, for some reason it only did it one time though. It's kind of weird. But. Hmm. Oh, wait, okay. Let's do this. I wasn't done. If number is equal to the five, then can we set it back to one? Else, combo plus. And then we'll do eight, five like this. And CD. Or five, but yeah, you can't you have, to have different animation. See how long this video is. All right, we could probably do one last thing before I end it. We're gonna fire the remote event now, so we're gonna have to add folder here. Just name it remote. You can delete the items folder now if you want, but that's up to you. Let's do remote event. Just need a combat, I don't know. And then, say local remote equal to. Or actually, remote. Remote folder. Uh, let's say the remote. And then, remote now. Because you got a remote folder with your child's contact. And now, you can fire. The remote event so oh. got your server and then we're gonna do okay guess um and then what we're gonna do is here put a script and server script server handle it on follow it and actually we're going to copy all of this but we're gonna delete that user and we're gonna do remote the on server event and we're gonna need the player and then and then if r is equal to the hit then we can just print um i don't know let's just pick our name I don't know. so if we go to our output it should fire or print Every time, yep, see, it's gonna print our name every time. So, yeah, just change the animations, like I said, because it looks really weird now. Right, now. right here, just change them here. But yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this tutorial. In the next episode, um, we might do like a hit um, effects and stuff like that. Um, but yeah. We're gonna add air combo to this. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.